Good afternoon YouTube. This is a little extra video. I went out today, did a few bits, and as you can see, I've picked up a few. So I thought I'll detail what they are, simply because my next video is supposed to be Friday, and Friday's when the rest of my showings come in, so I'm gonna have to build it, then move everything around, and then still do my Friday draw. So let's get this done now. So must be palm, we'll see how it goes. Now, everybody knows my pound worlds, because I've been bitching about it and I'll be whinging about it. My pound worlds have had nothing in and dry as a bone. But I went in one in Shirley today and there's nothing on shelf and there was like 15 boxes on the high. So I had to put me crutches to the one side, put me bag to the other, and I went fishing. So the first about 12 are going to be from Pound World because they actually had some for once. So let's go through these. My first pickup is the book beef. I heard good things. I mean, it's not blood and guts there, but I love Jeffrey Rush. So definitely giving that a go. I've never even heard of this one. Werewolf, the beast among us. But I do like it. I do like a good werewolf film. Let me know if you've seen this one. Is it any good? Then I've picked up Kickboxer Retaliation. And about 10 minutes later, I realised I've actually got it coming from Music Magpie already. So expect to see one of these in my competitions. Oops. Then I love Natalie Portman. So Jane got a gun. I love the red cover on that. Um, there's a film called We Still Kill the Old Way, and this is the other one to it, We Still Steal the Old Way. It's you know, a good British gangster film, so definitely love that. We have the 3D version of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. I have the other one, but you know, I want to get I want to literally have every 3D Blu-ray there is. Then we have the other one, which is Kick the Box of Vengeance with Batista. Definitely worth having. I want to get the 3D version of this because there is a 3D one out there, but you know I'll, I'll gladly have this in the meantime. Walking with dinosaurs and movie. I have this, but not in 3D. I now have it in 3D. We've got X Men Apocalypse. I have the original of this one, Bonded Blood Bud. Blood Bud Blood. It's more of the Essex Boys film, so this is the sequel to Bonded by Blood. And we have a TV series called The White Queen. Haven't seen it. Looking forward to it. And that is the pound one, Poundland ones. The rest of these are like I I did some trading in. And this is basically a mix of stuff that I've got from other places. Firstly, you know me and my nature film. So BBC Earth, South Pacific. I mean, the, the colours in that are going to be beautiful. So yeah, definitely happy with that one. Still can't believe I didn't have this one. Air Force One with Harrison Ford, an absolute classic. I love Gary Oldman playing another Russian bad guy. What is it with British blokes playing bad guys? I don't know why I didn't have this one. I need to get Chase and Amy because that's and uh, more rats. I did have a soul. Why? Dogma. Dogma is one of my favourite films of all time and just can't find it. But Clerks, what a classic. Gotta have that. Don't know who that was. That was a mobile. Home on the range. Um, Roseanne Barr, I think, does the voice to one of the cows in this. So, yeah. And you know what I said about my Disney as well. It's just pathetic and I need to upgrade it. Next, we have The Usual Suspects. It's an absolutely astonishing classic of a film. I still can't believe I didn't have that. Next, we have Vengeance. No idea. Just look cool. Looking forward to that one. Kirk Russell's in this one. And Matt Dillon. And Terence Stamp. Art of the Steel. Anyone heard of it? Let me know if you think it's good. I did have this next trilogy as a steel book. But I got rid of it because I got a really good price for it. So I had to pick up the Mummy trilogy again. So I've got all three of the mummies. Definitely. You can't have your collection without that. Uh, you know me in Synasia, I've got quite a few of those now, but I've got War of the Arrows, looks quite cool. 
I sold all, off all my, my James Bond. I don't know why I did it. Uh, I just, uh, maybe I just needed to cash it at the time, but I've st I'm going to start getting them back again. So obviously you start with my favourite, which is Golden Eye. Don't judge. It's 50p. Justin Bieber, never say never. Yeah, I'm not going to live that one down. Um, this one, I, I, I just thought, ah, oh, cool. It's Insurgent, but a Digi book. The price I paid for that, definitely worth it. Disgusting film, The Human Centipede 2. I've got the first one. Third one's still a bit pricey. This is Southpaw Steelbook. I get home, the dipshit at CEX hasn't even put it in the box. So I will be going back there tomorrow to give him a slap around the head. But at least I've got the steel book for now. I, I still have my receipt. So I will be going back there and get him some shit. Useless. And then we have the two, two just deluxe edition of The Message. More epic stuff. Something like the story of Islam or something. Then we have The Wall with John Cena. Never even heard of that one, but it looks all right. I love Gnomeo and Juliet, so I'm so glad to finally have Sherlock Gnomes. And there's even a little colouring poster inside that's still in there. Brilliant. Can't wait to watch that. Next, we've got Killers. I love these types of films, but I haven't actually heard of this one, so let me know if you've seen it, please. And I went for Doctor No, because obviously that's the first Bond film. You've got to get that back as soon as you find it. Here's one from my mate Anthony. Let me know what it's like. I'm sure you've seen it. The 25th Reich. It says, five men, 25 dimensions, one reality. I ain't got a bloody clue, but it looks cool. I can't believe I didn't get this already. I love the first one. I now have The Incredibles 2 in 3D. And we'll be watching that very soon. We're going to be watching The Greatest Showman tonight. Series 1 of Broadchurch. We all know how good a drama this was. I kind of stayed away from it. Because um, I don't like the subject matter that much. But yeah. You, you can't, you've got to have something like that in your collection. Definitely one I should have watched before now. I've heard this is good. The Accountant with uh, Ben Affleck. Can't wait to see that. The remake of Flatliners. Really happy to have picked that one up. And my last two. Um... Garland State and Natalie Natalie Portman film. I want to collect all of their stuff. And one I could have sworn I would have put money on, I had, but I don't. Blended with Adam Sandler. So I'm getting close to having all Adam Sandler's films now. So, as you can see, worth me doing a little pickup video for that. It's been a while since I've actually had that kind of quantity, so I'm really happy I did that. The rest of this week, Friday, of course, will be uh, the draw for this week. And I have picked up a few bits more as prizes. Because obviously, um, going into next week, we'll probably be start detailing the Easter Sunday giveaway prizes. But obviously, I need to still keep some stuff in for my weekly prizes. So, I have picked up a few bits to add to that as well. Which hopefully you guys will like. We'll wait and see. But... Put any comments down below what you think or what I've picked up. Any that you've seen, and I, know, I haven't really seen any of these. So, any of these you've seen, tell me if you think they're good. Recommend what should I watch first, alright? Take care, enjoy the rest of your evening, guys, alright?